Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel and today I'm going to share with you why you should write content for Google and not social media. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So here's the analytics for my site, neilpatel.com. Uh, I'm recording this video on a Saturday. As you can see, I'm getting roughly 997 people right now on my website, which isn't bad for a weekend because I'm in B2B. Now, if you think about my traffic, all right, I'm getting a lot of traffic real time. Let's look at that numbers and the data and dive a little bit more in. You can see still roughly, you know, now it's a thousand. And when you look at the traffic, roughly over 500 plus of that keyword, so actually let's div dive into traffic sources, but over 500 is coming from organic. Um, and actually, let's go back to overview. So organic, not provided, 506, some in different languages, some from YouTube. But again, going back to traffic sources, what you can see here, organic Google, 416, organic Bing, one, DuckDuckGo, um, then there's referral traffic. Now granted, this number here, 416, is a little bit different than what they're showing in the overview, but it doesn't matter. Either way, it's still a high number of roughly 416 people. Based on this, that's 41.24% of my traffic right now is coming from Google. Now let's think about social media. Let's see what social sites are in here. YouTube, all right, that's social. Let's actually just click on social. Social right now, YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, four visitors, a whopping four, right? Not that many. On the flip side, organic, when I click on that, as you can see, 410. What a big difference. One is four, one is 410. That's pretty much a uh, hundred times more traffic coming from SEO than I am getting for social media. Now, to prove my point even more, I want to go into Uber Suggest and type in, let's say, my domain name. When I type in my domain name, you can see my rough traffic stats over time. And then I want you to go into top pages. Top pages shows all the top pages for any given domain name. Okay, and if you look at this, how to start a blog, what is affiliate marketing, all these posts have a good amount of social shares, not bad. But if you look here, some pages have tons of social shares, like 7,000, versus ones that have lower, like 847, or even 41, and some of these get way more traffic. What you'll see, and I can actually show an even better example, because let's say my blog, neilpatel.com, is on uh, marketing, or digital marketing to be more specific. So if I type in digital marketing in Uber Suggest, It'll show you the rough trend for that keyword, how many people are typing it and stuff like that. And when I scroll all the way down, it'll, it'll show me a content idea section. This shows me all the blog posts, all the blog posts around the web that are really popular around that subject. As you can see here, look at these social shares, way more than what I had on my neilpatel.com site. But look at their estimated visits from Google on a monthly basis. This one's getting roughly one visitor. I go to the next page. Let's see, 8, 12, 15, social share counts going down because it's sorted by social shares, 113, 83, 120, go to the next page. And what you're seeing is, look, 3,000 or 3,400. What you're noticing is, is as I'm going further and further along, I'm seeing content with less social shares. But amazingly, the organic traffic is increasing. Why is that? Well, it tends to be that the content that a lot of people search for on Google are how-to related terms, more educational and informational. Yet, the content that people are sharing on the social web, like Facebook, Reddit, they don't really care to share the how-to stuff. Like, no one cares to share how to tie a tie. Like that's something that isn't that sexy or appealing. But yet, if I just type in the keyword, how to tie a tie with an Uber says, how to tie a tie, 450,000 searches. Now granted, the search volume is lower now, but the search volume is lower now due to things like people staying indoors more often. But you guys get the point in which when you look at this, no one's gonna really wanna share an article 
on Facebook, you're not going to have an article go viral on how to tie a tie, but the volume is there. See, a lot of the terms that people are searching for is not the content that people want to share on the social web. And you'll also find similar things with backlinks. The content that people want to link to that has a lot of amazing data and stats that people want to share and link to isn't a lot of times the content that people want to type in and search for on Google. Like no one really cares to link to article on how to tie a tie. No one really cares to link to article on what is digital marketing, but yet that gets a lot of traffic. Because if I type in terms like digital marketing, as you can see here, a lot of the articles are simple. The who, the what, the why, and how of digital marketing, the ultimate guided digital marketing, digital marketing made simple, uh, I think that's mine, what is digital marketing. A lot of these are basic articles that don't go into advanced tactics that no one wants to link to or share on the social web, but that's what's ranking. So what I want you to do is write content that people search for on Google, and that doesn't mean that you should write the content for robots or algorithm. Write it for humans, of course, but at the same time, after you write a lot of the content that people are searching for, and you can just figure that out by just doing keyword research on uh, Ubersess, type in any of your main keywords, you can even then go to the keyword ideas report, and I'll show you other relevant keywords that are related, like how to tie a Windsor knot, how to tie a knot, uh, how to tie a tie easiest, or like the easiest way to tie a tie. And then from there, you can write the more advanced, in-depth content, like um, the meaning of ties, or uh, what the color of your tie really means. Like red may stand for power. Like if you look at a lot of the people going for political elections, they pick their tie colors for a reason. Or the meaning of different tie styles. There's skinny ties, there's ties that are really fat, there's ties that are medium in width. And that kind of stuff could actually impact how many links and social shares you're getting. But first go and create the content that people are searching for and then go and create the content that people want to share on the social web because that evergreen content, the evergreen traffic, not really the content, but the evergreen traffic that you consistently get, it's going to be from that evergreen content that people are searching for and not searching for. Again, look at my Google Analytics real time. You see here, 397 visits coming from organic. And now let's get back to social. Social. Let's see, it is a whopping five, right? Not 100x more this time, but close enough. If you have any questions when it comes to creating content, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out and respond. If you need help and you want my agency to just do the work for you, check out Neil Patel Digital. And if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.